One of the key components that I have seen usually while integrating with Home Assistant is the MQTT broker. So today we'll be looking at how actually we can run the MQTT broker as a Home Assistant add-on as well as we will look into how we can run it as a Docker image. Now we will also look into how you can protect this broker using a username and password and you can decide if you want to protect it using a username and password or you want to allow anonymous logins. So with this, let's get started. So first thing what we're going to do is we are going to actually set up the MQTT broker on the Home Assistant OS and then later on we'll see how you can run the MQTT broker using a Docker container. So for this first what we're going to do is we're going to go to the settings section and we're going to go to this add-ons and then in the add-ons I'm going to go to this add-on store and in the add-on store I'm going to search for MQTT. So, so this Mosquito broker I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click on install. So this will take a little bit of time now. So now this has installed the MQTT broker and now we need to actually give it some configuration. Now suppose if you don't want any kind of credentials to be given to this particular MQTT broker, that means protect this broker using some username and password, you can just go ahead and start this particular add-on. Nothing you have to do. But if you want to actually protect this broker, what you need to do is go to this configuration and here I'm going to give a username. So let's give it like MQTT user and I'm going to give it a password. So I'm going to say password and I'm going to give a simple password that is password. So this is the way you can actually set up a username and a password for this MQTT broker. I'm going to click on save here and below if you scroll you will see these are the ports that are there so this is the port through which the home assistant will connect to this mqtt broker now i'll go back to the info section and here i'm going to enable this particular watchdog and this will actually make sure that if the broker goes down it will restart that particular mqtt broker i'm going to click on start and now your mqtt broker is up and running so now we have actually configured the MQTT broker inside Home Assistant. We have started it, but we are yet to connect this to Home Assistant. So now to see how you can connect this MQTT broker to Home Assistant, you can skip to the next chapter. Right now, I will show you how you can actually run the MQTT broker using the Docker image. So for this, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to my server. So I have this particular server on which I'm running the MQTT Docker container. So I have this Docker compose file. So let's look at this. So vim docker compose dot yaml. And in this, if you see, you have this particular configuration for the Docker compose file. So I have this image Eclipse Mosquito. I have this container name and I have some volumes been mounted. So I have kept the current directory and inside the current directory I have this mosquito folder and this mosquito folder I am mounting it at this particular location. Then I have the data folder also being mounted and then I have the log folder. So now this data folder is where it will actually store all the persisted messages. I will show you how to configure this in the configuration now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press escape. I'm going to press colon so that I get this particular option here. I'm going to say WQ. So this will actually write this particular file when you're opening this file using Vim. Now let's actually go ahead and look at how our MQTT broker configuration looks like. So in my current directory right now, I have this mosquito folder. So I'm going to go to mosquito and then I'm going to go to the config folder. And inside this config folder, I have this particular file called as mosquito config. So this file will contain the configurations that you need to provide to this mosquito broker. So I'm going to open this and here I have set in certain things. So first thing I've set is the persistence that I'm going to allow the messages to be persisted onto the local disk. And this is the location wherein the particular messages will be stored. Followed by this is the destination of the log as well as the port on which I will be listening on. Now here, the authentication I've set it as anonymous because you can start the particular broker without any username and password. But I will show you this as well as the way how you can actually put in the username and password. So for now, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this particular configuration and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the directory where I have the docker compose file so this is the directory so I have to run the docker compose up command here itself so I'm going to say docker compose up so now this is actually running my MQTT broker so now the next thing that I want to do is how do I create a username and password for this particular broker, right? So there are two mechanisms. The first mechanism that we have is uh, you create the file and then after you have to run the encrypt command for this. But I'll tell you a simpler mechanism that is much easier to work with. So for this, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to keep this broker running right now. And I have this another window in which actually I'm at the same location. So if you see the Docker Compose file right now, I'm on that server right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this particular command. So don't worry, all of these commands, I will put it into the article that I will link into the description below. So you don't have to copy it from the screen, but you can actually copy them from the article. So I'm going to go and I'm going to run this particular command. And with this, I'm actually logging inside that particular container, which is actually running. So if you see this right now, I'm actually inside that particular container and I will be running this particular command. So I'm going to run mosquito underscore password and I'm going to specify the location in which this particular password will be saved. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go and copy this particular folder. So I'm going to copy this from here that is slash mosquito slash config and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to specify slash password. You can give any file name. I'm just giving it as password.txt. And next I'm going to specify is the username for our brokers. I'm going to specify MQTT user and I'm going to hit enter. Now this will ask you for the password for this particular user. I'm going to give it now a password. Now repeat the same password again so that it confirms that you're giving the same password and you know it. So now with this, we actually set the username and the password for our MQTT broker. Now what we have to do is we have to exit from here and we will have to take down our Docker Compose file. So for this, I'm going to cancel this first and I'm going to say Docker Compose down to explicitly make sure that the Docker Compose file is down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my config. So mosquito and then the config folder. And here, if you see, you will see this particular password.txt file that was present. Now what we have to do is we have to open this particular mosquito config file that we have, right? So right now, this particular file is with root permission. So I'm going to open it using the sudo command. So sudo vim and mosquito.config file. I'm going to open this and here I'm going to not allow right now any anonymous login. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to say false. And next I'm going to specify the password file. So password underscore file space. And then I'm going to give the location of this file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy this from here. That is mosquito. And I'm going to specify config slash password.txt. So this is the location of that particular credential files. I'm going to save this and then I'm going to go back to the location of my Docker Compose file. Now I'm going to bring Docker Compose up and with this we actually configured our MQTT Docker container to have a username and a password protected broker. So now next thing that we have to do is we have to configure this in Home Assistant, right? So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go now to Home Assistant. So let's go to Home Assistant right now and I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to go to Devices and Services and I'm now going to click on Add Integrations. So here I'm going to search for MQTT and then I'm going to select this MQTT option. Now, if you're using the Home Assistant add-on for running MQTT, you will have to specify the IP address for your Home Assistant. So now I have the Home Assistant add-on running. So I'm going to specify the IP address of my Home Assistant. That is this. And then I'm going to keep the same port. I'm not going to change this. And I'm going to specify MQTT user, which is the user that we actually configured in our add-on. 
as well as I'm going to specify the password here. So this is the username and password that we configured in the config section of our Home Assistant add-on. And with this, I'm going to click on submit. So as you can see, this particular configuration is done. Now, if I go here, this MQTT broker integration is done with Home Assistant. Now let's consider the case you're doing it with the external broker. So let me delete this one first and I'm going to go back out here. I'm going to search for MQTT integration and then I'm going to click on MQTT. And here I'm going to now specify the location that is the IP address of my server. So the IP address of my server is this and I'm going to specify my username. So MQTT user and I'm going to specify the password. So with this, I have now configured an external MQTT broker, which is running as a Docker container and I'm integrating it with Home Assistant. So if I go back here right now, you can see this MQTT integration being done. So we just saw how we can set up an MQTT broker using Home Assistant add-on as well as the Docker image. Now, if you like this particular video, make sure to hit that like button as well as in my next video, I will be using this particular broker to actually set up ZigBee to MQTT to control ZigBee devices using Home Assistant. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next one.